Many conservatives are concerned that real men are disappearing, so Tucker Carlson created a documentary to address just that. I'll say at the top of this, I apologize. My voice sounds super weird today. I've been sick and so it has that weird raspy like teenage boy cracky thing. But I didn't want to skip making a video just because I'm sick. So this is what you get. Oh my goodness, it is so hard to talk right now. So Tucker Carlson is the most prominent media figure on the right. So when he makes a move or does something, it actually is important to watch because the way you get to be that prominent is by being really good at reading the broader movement or population that you're trying to appeal to. And so by watching him, you can get a sense for what direction conservatives and right-wingers are headed, at least a certain sliver of them that is the most outspoken and loud and aggressive. I traveled over the weekend and somebody that I respected reminded me to keep pointing out that the conservatives that we tend to spend a lot of time talking about are not necessarily representative of all conservatives. And I do think that's important to remember. So when we're talking about the kind of Marjorie Taylor Greene, Tucker Carlson, crazy uh, right-wingers, that is not all conservatives and that is definitely not all republicans and i just want to always repeat that in the spirit of honesty and we do want to be able to unite with the more reasonable republicans okay you guys have to stick with me because this trailer for the documentary that tucker carlson is putting out is absolutely insane so as i mentioned in the intro a lot of conservatives are super concerned that real men are vanishing and society is causing men to become beta males or whatever okay so Tucker Carlson is putting out a documentary titled The End of Men. And this is following up his first documentary. I guess he now has these Tucker Carlson original uh, documentaries. And it was called Patriot Purge. And it was about how conservatives are being persecuted and January 6th rioters are being mistreated and stuff like that. So this is his second documentary. And let me tell you, it gets, it gets juicy. Before I say any more, let's go ahead and watch this trailer. society collapses then you're in hard times well hard iron sharpens iron as they say and those hard times inevitably produce men who are tough men who are resourceful men who are strong enough to survive and then they go on to re-establish order and so the cycle begins again What on earth? So before, I can't think this, before we do any more commentary, I just want to go back to a still frame shot. We're going to throw up a shot. That, what is that? Okay, I bet you're wondering. When you first, it opens up on a man having something done to his groin area. Well, it has been found out for us. That is a testicle tanner so in this big real men are disappearing and we have to get strong <laughs> masculine men back documentary trailer it pans up for the very beginning of the trailer and it's a man getting his testicle stand and i know i know let's just put up that photo one more time <laughs> he's getting his testicle stand <laughs> so Everyone who covered this on their shows today already pointed this out, and I know, and I wish I could have gotten to this joke first, but right when I watched it, I thought this, as everyone did, for a documentary and a political movement that insists the liberals are trying to make people gay, that is the most, as one of the other commentators put it, homoerotic trailers I've ever seen. I mean, the entire trailer is just this muscular guy, shirtless, chopping things and flipping tires and getting in an ice bath and tanning his testicles. Don't forget that part. I mean, what I have a little bit of a theory that Tucker Carlson is actually a liberal and he's just trying to make fun of conservatives from within the conservative movement. 
So he spent all of these years being a bigoted and having all these crazy, terrible right wing views just so he can earn their trust and then make fun of them with how ridiculous he leads them. I mean, presumably he's so, so popular putting out this documentary. There are actual human people, men who think of themselves as conservative men who are going to watch this documentary trailer and be like, that's right, brother. Those liberals are trying to make all of our men weak and homosexual. Now let me get back to watching this video of a man dead his testicle. Okay. I was about to say, let's get serious. There's nothing serious to talk about. No, society isn't killing real men. We're just realizing that the traditional, strong, you know, kind of toxic masculine man isn't necessary in a developed society like ours. If you want to be that, you want to go flip tires, do it. Chop things and get in cold baths. And I think I saw him just drinking down a raw egg. If you want to do that, do it. I'm gonna cook my eggs, but whatever. And even if you want to tan your testicles, awesome but just because everyone else isn't doing that doesn't mean we're losing real men in society okay and we have to watch the trailer one more time if you're listening on a podcast you gotta go luke b is on youtube and watch this trailer because it's too funny let's watch one more time society collapses then you're in hard times well hard iron sharpens iron as they say and those hard times inevitably produce men who are tough men who are resourceful men who are strong enough to survive and then they go on to re-establish order and so the cycle begins again Okay, there's no way Tucker Carlson is not playing a prank on all conservatives right now. That is unreal. People take that seriously. Yeah, the end of men. Men are going away. And look at that strong guy just shooting things and being a real man. I just... American politics is truly something special. Now, serious advice to conservative men who watch that. If you find yourself getting a suspiciously excited feeling when you watch a big strong man do all of those things, especially if that opening scene of him tanning his groin area and you're just like, God, I love real men so much. There is no shame. Y'all know, you see my videos. You wanna do what you wanna do, do it and enjoy it. But first off, stop hating other people for it. And also, again, if you watch that and you really, really like it, there are tons of resources to help you feel comfortable with yourself and eventually come out. That's all I'm saying. Obviously, I'm partly kidding, but please, please keep in mind, real men, real, like actually real men don't have to run around screaming that they're a real man they're not concerned with the testosterone levels of people just be you and be comfortable with who you are regard if it if that means you do walk around and you eat raw meat or whatever awesome but just be who you actually are and be comfortable with that that is what it means to be a real man and a real woman a real anything a real human is to be who you actually are and be comfortable with that trying to pretend to be some comic book version of a big strong masculine man is actually in my mind very fake it's very unreal man like if that makes sense also there is no way that getting your testicles tanned is a safe thing as it pertains to cancer i mean they say don't keep your phone too close to there i cannot imagine a tanner boom right down there <laughs> is safe so all i'm saying is be careful out there. And that was Tucker Carlson's trailer for his new documentary, The End of Men, where he addresses the real pressing issue of our time. Here's what else you need to know today. 
Russia has declared a new phase of their invasion of Ukraine as they bombard multiple regions in eastern Ukraine, causing even more needless devastation. The federal mask mandate on flights is no more after a federal judge knocked down the order as unlawful. The South African government is working to rebuild after the disastrous flood that killed over 400 people. And finally, the COVID lockdowns in Shanghai are causing food shortages and dramatic scenes of desperation from the citizens. Be well, everybody.